Hello. Today we are doing a review on the T T review on technical specifications on the TI Inspire CX by Texas Instruments. So here's a 360 around the calculator. It says Texas Instruments there. Here's a 360 around it. Here's the top and the back and the bottom. It has this slot right here for installing the dock. So let's start. Here's the internals. And here's just the back of the case. The case is just a plastic case. So now, um, this, the screen size, so let's start about this talk about the technical specifications um this the screen size is 320 times 240 320 times 240 pixels so it's 3 3 2 diagonal the resolution is one point it's a 125 dpi and a 16 bit co color and it's pow it's this is powered by the inspire rechargeable battery which is included in the this actually has 100 megabytes of storage memory and 64 megabytes of operating memory. Um, it has a USB port for computer connectivity right there. Here's the USB port and unit to unit communication with other TI Inspires. So here's the other port right there. And here's this one. So the next is. <clears throat> This is approved. This is approved for standardized tests like the SATs, the PSATs, the NMS QTs, the ACT, the AP, and I think uh, the IB, and I forgot the other one. And this is also approved, uh, approved on some state exams. Okay. The next thing we're going to get to is the features of it. So as you know, this computer, this um, calculator has a color backlit display. So here's a look of, at the display. It's color. Here's a keypad. Um, <clears throat> it can utilize images. As, images, for example, like on the documents. Right here, you can't really see it here. I have. Here's a, a picture of my dog. So here's how it looks with that. You see, you could see pictures on here like this. Yeah, so it can store JPEG files, um, JBM, BMP, PNG, and file formats. And it can overlay with graphical elements on screen. This com this um, calculator also has 3D graphing, which means that you can graph, um, you can do graphing in three dimensional. For example, I don't think you could really see it though. Here is, let me turn on the 3D graphing. You go here and then menu, and you can do the graph type or view. 3D graphing, and here's how it looks. So you could see, you could move that thing around right there, and then put the stuff here. So it has 3D graphing. It also includes uh, easy, an easy touchpad right here. So you see I'm not pressing anything. You could see the cursor here. Here's the cursor right there. And I'm doing that. And you could see mathematical expressions in symbolic form. And it has 
you can explore individual representations one at a time or as many as four on the same screen. You could see multiple res res representations of a single problem, algebra, graphical, geometric, numeric, and written. And it has built-in interactive ge geometry capabilities. It has the link representations, which manipulate the properties of one and observe instant updates to others without switching screens. That's what you do when you connect them. So here's a good look at the front. And there's the keypad again. It has A, B, C, D key letters. It also has these things for anti-slide right there. Next, it has... Here are some of the applications. There is calculator on it. You can use the calculator as a normal calculator for variables and like enter and you can enter and view expressions, equations, and formulas exactly as they appear in math textbooks. There is graphs, graph functions to animate points on an object or explain graphs. You can explain their behavior. Um, it has geometry. You can create and explore geometric shapes. Lists and spreadsheet. It has lists and spreadsheets and data and statistics. And lists and spreadsheet. You can capture and track values of a graph and collect the data and observe number patterns, organize the results of statistical analysis and capabilities similar to using computer spreadsheets. So, And data and statistics is when you could summarize statistical data using different graphical methods. Different graphical methods and manipulate and explore data and how changes in data can affect the statistical systems. You can create quick graphs and perform a variety of descriptive and inferential statistical calculations on real data sets. Notes. There's also notes. So you could put math in writing. You can include the word problem with its solutions and explain problem-solving approaches. Um, you can It's right in the handheld or the computer software that com comes with it. And it has question Q&A templates allow, like, Q&A templates. And then v there's also the Vernier DataQuest app. You can create a hypothesis graphically and re replay, replay data collect collection experiments used in conjunction with the TI Inspire Lab Cradle, which is not included with this product. Now, what I think about it, it is a really good. It's it's a you see as you can see it's a really nice graphing calculator, and it is permitted on most tests. And to compare this with the Casio Prism. I think this is much better than the prism, um, just because, and you see, you could notice how thin it is right here, because it's, it's the format's much more user friendly here, it has much more applications on it, and it's more, like the Casio prism, just, like the words are too simplified there, and this kind of tells you everything that's really intuitive and stuff, so, and then, Another thing is that it also has this keyboard right here where you can type in stuff just with this keyboard. It's A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um, it has the control shift. Oh, one other cool thing though is that you can actually play games on here. So for example, so let's say I want to play Q field. I just press enter. Wait. Cancel, Q field, enter, no, okay, so now I can just go up to here with my cursor, and now I can play it, so I just use like this, you see, I died, okay, now better, here you see, oh, whoops, I wasn't, you see, you can play games on here, it's also really fun, so, this is a good calculator 
for educational purposes and games if you want to. I recommend this to get on the tests, to use on the tests and everything. It's good, it helps you a lot. It has lots of mathematical equations and stuff. And thank you for watching today's review on the and specifications of T Tech TI Inspire CX.